Hey guys, I wanted to make this quick video about Ripple to highlight some important facts as of, you know, right now, today's, you know, as of today, April 10th, because there's a lot of moving parts of Ripple. They are doing a lot of networking, marketing, um, obviously improving their services, a lot of partnerships that are being formed. And it's important for you to know what's going on because if you're invested in something, you should be aware of what's happening around the company, what are they doing, right? So that can help you to make more informed decisions when it comes to investing, further investing, or pulling back, whatever it may be, right? You, sh you should be doing that. And I think that's the point of my channel is to help spread uh, the important news and facts so you guys can be as informed as possible, not just for Ripple, but other cryptocurrencies and what's going on in the market. Um, so I wanted to give credit to uh, the person who put this together, this user MPH, that's her Twitter handle, and she put together this small graphic um, highlighting where we're at at the moment with Ripple, right? Because like I said, a lot of moving parts, and it's important to know what's going on in something that you're invested in. So the first fact here, guys, Ripple is working with 40 to 50 central banks. If you recall, I did a video, I believe it was last week, showing a video of a Ripple employee at a fintech fair stating this. Uh, he said, we're working with 40 or 50 central banks globally. This is big. Obviously, if you're working with central banks, it's going to be very easy to influence the smaller banks. Um, I think that's pretty common sense, and that is super important. Uh, the next is the Cobalt integration, which will reduce transaction time and improve scalability. I, didn't, I don't think I got into, I did a video on this as far as the details. I may have mentioned, did a quick mention, but just so you guys know, um, thanks to the revelation of the Cobalt algorithm, Ripple's transactions are set to become even faster and even smoother user experience and, early, and early, easier mass adoption of this type of transactions. The implementation of Cobalt was announced earlier by the Ripple team on March 27th when the public became aware of this implementation plan. Once this algorithm is integrated into the XRP system, all transactions will be made even faster. And you guys know Ripple is already you know, uh, Ripple and Stellar pretty much are on par because they're they're like the same blockchain um, because Stellar is a fork of Ripple, uh, but they are pretty much like the fastest out there, guys. Bitcoin and Ethereum and all of these, they can't even compare to Ripple's speed and it, it's going to be even faster. Um, so it says here, uh, making all transactions faster, meaning the XRP technology could become even more desirable for bank banking institutions and money transfer services. So definitely... Uh, important to continue to innovate and improve on your product. Um, the next is XRP Ledger will be more decentralized than, Ether, than e Ethereum and Bitcoin by end of year. Now, if you recall, when Ripple put out a bunch of videos, um, even published an article on their blog talking about the plan uh, for full decentralization, guys, they are working on that. So a lot of the FUD that people go around saying is that Ripple's not decentralized and all of that crap. And But I've shared this on many fronts, but that is the plan. So uh, the haters are going to run out of excuses um, and, and FUD to spread when a, this is fully, fully rolled out. Uh, they are cash positive as of 2017. So I think I reported on, you know, their performance last year vastly surpassed their expectations, uh, you know, and, and their goals, guys. So they, they broke through their goals big time, So which is a great sign because, um, you know, they have a real working product that is solving real world problems. Um, and as you guys uh, may have know, I known, I reported on this, signing more than one bank or payment service provider per week. Uh, Brad Garlinghouse said it, I believe there's just woman, I forgot her name. She used to work at Swift and she now works at Ripple. She mentioned that too. They're signing a lot of folks, guys. If you're signing one bank or payment, per payment service provider per week, you're doing something right. Uh, Bank of England is a customer, um, so that's big. The National Bank of Abu Dhabi is a customer. Western Union, you guys know about this. This was announced publicly. Is piloting X, X Rapid, which uh, leverages XRP, as well as MoneyGram. Uh, X Rapid and XVIA can both settle with XRP. I mentioned this, I believe, in a video yesterday, where Corey Johnson of Ripple, formerly with Bloomberg, gave a presentation and talked a bit about this on a, I believe, on a podcast, if I'm not mistaken. We're showing how XRP can be integrated with XVIA. So the, the common uh, conception about this is that it, XRP can only be leveraged with uh, XRapid. Well, it can also be used with XVIA. Obviously, the primary uh, platform that it's leveraged on is XRapid, but 
it can be used with both. So that's important. Uh, the Gates Foundation works with Ripple. This, this is kind of old news. This goes back to last year in Q3 or Q4 where Ripple announced on their website at the Swell Conference and so forth. They're working with the Gates Foundation. That's big. Uh, American Express is working and using Ripple. Uh, this partnership was announced last year as well. There are three, uh, let me minimize my video here. There are three Ripple powered payment apps and I reported about Santander going live. You can download it on the uh, Apple iTunes store, uh, SBI, Money Tap, uh, Santander, OnePay FX, Qualix with the Qualit. Um, so those are all live and I expect more for sure. Um, it says here, one more top three payment service provider to be announced. So as you guys may recall, Brad Garlinghouse said, we're working with three of the top five money transfer companies in the world um, and their household names. We've got two already announced, Western Union and MoneyGram. Uh, we don't know who the third is. So that is another to be announced. Uh, 61 Japanese bank consortium to use Ripple Tech. So I reported on this as well. Um, I mean, they got a stronghold on the banks in Japan, guys. This is big. I, I think Ripple's making some really great progress in the in the Asian markets um, where we, as it relates to banking and money transfers. So some important facts. Um, I'll share a link to this tweet that uh, this user put out, and once again, MPH. Um, so you guys can have this. And this is obviously something that could be expanded tomorrow if more news about Ripple comes out. Uh, because there's just a lot of information, a lot of great things happening on Ripple's front. Once again, I want to share this to consolidate all the news and all the facts because there's a lot of haters and people who spread a, spread a lot of FUD out there. Um, Ripple is absolutely going places because it's not just a cryptocurrency. It's a company, a payments company, and it is actually has real world utility uh, and, and that's not to say bitcoin doesn't but bitcoin is not being used at this scale which a lot of people miss people are going to use bitcoin whatever to buy coffee whatever it is buy you know use whatever to buy crap on online uh you know you can go to uh overstock.com and buy electronics or furniture or whatever it is right ripple is being used to help transfer money uh, between banks and countries and all of that cross-border payments. So real transactions talking about trillion dollar market. Um, so this is big and this is why I'm invested and I'm holding. It is a long-term hold. A lot of people forget that. Um, but as they grow and as this market matures and we, there's separation from Bitcoin and um, people start to see the adoption and the partnerships and um, the usage, the value will go up. So there's some patience that has to be exercised here in, in holding XRP, but it will pan out because it's a real company. Um, if it wasn't having these partnerships or wasn't making this progress, I wouldn't be, you know, such an advocate about it. But I clearly in front of my eyes, I'm seeing real world relationships, partnerships, usage and so forth taking place. I'm seeing uh, Ripple getting positive feedback from the, the federal uh bank uh, the fed so to speak of uh united states um and just a lot of different companies and so forth and they have investors they actually have investors google ventures is one of their investors and a lot of other banks as well so uh that's why i'm on board and i and I, my goal here is is not to to you know do some sort of religious preaching here as far as uh, principles and things along that line, I'm here to make money. And this is one of the ways I, I see I can make money because this company is going places. And don't get me wrong, I, I have Bitcoin in my portfolio, Ethereum, Litecoin. Um, you guys have seen my portfolio. I, bro I broke it down before. I have some other alts as well. But I, I think when the dust settles, as this market matures and things, um, you know, we get to that, the market really just matures and gets to that level where you know, there's a lot more investment uh, and a lot of institutional money in there. I think Ripple is going to be the, the leader, guys. Honestly, I absolutely believe that just because of what we're talking about here. We're not talking about buying coffee and stuff online. We're talking about global money transfer. And a lot of people miss that fact. So anyway, some facts here. I'll put a link so you guys can check this out. Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts. 
I know a lot of you who follow this channel are Ripple fans, and there's some haters too, but what can you say? When, when uh, you know, Ripple starts to grow and the value goes up and I'm cashing out, you know, I, I'm going to be happy about that and the haters can be sad about that, but whatever it is. Uh, anyway, what do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video and uh, please subscribe if you have not already and uh, definitely stay tuned for more video content. Talk to you guys later.